It's Thursday here on The Final Wager, and I gotta admit, I am really excited about tonight's situation. It's something I've been waiting for all year. I didn't think it was gonna happen, because I'm only aware of three instances of it happening in the past. But with uh, two clues to play, these are the scores, and I was just hoping that no one would buzz in and ruin it. What is that exactly, you might ask? Well, we're gonna find out. We got Molly in the lead with 12,000, Sarah in second with 11,2, Stacy in third with 5,200. We will start, as always, with first and second, Molly and Sarah. Sarah doubles up, she's gonna have 22,400, so Molly, to cover her, will need to wager 10,400. She gets it wrong with that wager, she'll be left with 1,600. So, um,. To stay above that, Stacy can wager up to 3,600. And Sarah can wager up to 9,600. All right, now I look at second and third, Sarah and Stacy. Stacy doubles up, he will have 10,400. And to cover that, so to stay above that really, Sarah can wager up to 800. Now let's look at rule number three, where each player tries to cover a zero wager with the other. The only real possibility here is Sarah and Molly. The difference between them is 800, so Sarah should wager at least 800 to cover Molly, but you'll notice that she already can wager at most 800 to stay above Stacy. Therefore, she is most likely compelled to wager 800. And now we have a fun little wager to tie situation. If Sarah gets it right with that $800 wager, she will have 12,000, which is Molly's current total. Therefore, Molly is totally justified in wagering zero, and in fact, some people will tell you that this is the best wager in this situation. I won't disagree with them. It is a little risky in assuming that Sarah doesn't have confidence in the category and is willing to fall below Stacy for the chance to overtake Molly. Of course, in a non-tournament game, if Sarah wagers 800 and Molly wagers zero, they'll tie and Sarah will come back anyway. So there's really no reason for her to wager more than 800. Stacy, if Sarah gets it wrong, she'll have 10,400, which is exactly double Stacy's total. So Stacy will need to wager 5,200 exactly. So 800 for Sarah, 5,200 for Stacy. Molly, I prefer zero, although. 10,400 to lock Sarah out is also acceptable. All right, haven't watched yet. I'm excited to see if uh, Molly pulls off a Rachel Schwartz and wagers the zero and wins with an incorrect answer. Faith Love did the same thing, and that's why this is called the Faith Love situation. Stacy, in third place, got it right and did what he had to do, wagering everything. Over to our champ, Sarah, and this is the moment of truth. She got it right and wagered 5,000. Don't like that wager at all. Finally, over to Molly, who got it right and did she wager anything? Yes, she wagered 11,000. So, one of the scary things about a situation like this is if you're gonna wager zero as the leader, you better damn well hope that the second place person is savvy and might be thinking about, hey, I don't wanna fall below third. It's worked in the past a few times. Wouldn't have worked tonight. Just another fascinating bit of psychology. And maybe we'll have another one of those tomorrow here on The Final Wager.